Hi, this is Joe Glavin from Philadelphia Floor. Today we're going to talk about the Clark B2 Edger and how to change the on-off switch. First thing you want to do is, uh, if you don't have a, a ball wrench, you're going to remove the dust pipe, but if you have a ball end hex wrench, you'll have access to the screws. Uh, remove the side handle screws so that the switch handle comes off. And you're going to loosen up the retaining nut on the switch stem. And that'll allow you to work the switch assembly out of the handle. Once you have the switch out, do your necessary cleanup so that you can gain access to the insulated terminals that are screwed on to the front and back side of the switch. Line in and line outside. So here we're taking out the terminals for the line in, we have the common and the hot, and then on the other side of the leads going to the motor. Here you're seeing the off side of the switch. You can always tell the off side of a toggle switch when it has the slot cut in it. That slot identifies the off side. When you put the on off tag back on and cap it with the nut, it'll be on the proper side. So the new switch is being replaced, reattaching the terminals for the line in and the motor. Once these are attached, you want to make sure to use electrical tape. That'll help prevent any dead shorts or anything if any of the wires come loose or break. Uh, it just helps keep things secure and helps you work that uh, larger switch back into the handle assembly because it could be quite tight. Once you get the handle assembly together, he's putting a height adjusting nut on there. That allows you to gain a certain depth of stem when you put the switch in. There's the dog that'll slide over the slot, indicating the offside. You slide that over. Now we know that the switch is in the proper position, and when you plug it in, it's not gonna turn on. Reassemble the handle. And give it a test. Here's a quick review of how to change the switch on a B2 Edger. To purchase a new or used B2 Edger or parts, go to phillyfloor.com.